This is the last time I'm saying this. When we are solving these kind of problems, the first thing we must try out is to use trig ratios, right? That is only possible if we have a right angle, a triangle. And then if we cannot do that because we don't have a right angle triangle, the next thing we should think about is the sine rule. We might think about the sine rule. If the sine rule doesn't work, then we can think about the cosine rule. We can think about the cosine rule. And then lastly, our last resort is the area rule. So this is the four steps we must follow. We must first see if we can use the trig ratios. If we can't, sine rule, and then cosine rule. And then lastly, we can try using the area rule. So follow these steps when you're solving these kind of questions. And then it's going to be quite easy. It's not going to be as difficult. Let me show you what I'm talking about. In 7.1, the question says determine BE in terms of alpha and Y. Determine BE in terms of alpha and Y. So we have our alpha right here as the angle of inclination of the line BE. And then we have Y as the side opposite our angle alpha. So let's follow the steps I'm recommending. The first thing we must try and use is trig ratios. So what do we check if we want to use trig ratios? Do we have a right angle the triangle? Yes, we do. BCE is a right angle the triangle. We can see that it is given here. We have an angle of 90 degrees. So because it is a right angle triangle, we can go ahead and use a trig ratios. We don't have to proceed and use the sine rule. So Y is the opposite, right? Uh, that should be easy to see. This is the opposite side to our angle alpha and BE is the hypotenuse. So B is the hypotenuse. So when we have the hypotenuse and the opposite, which trig ratio do we use? We use sine. We know fully well that sine of theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, of which in our case, we have sine of alpha, which is equal to the opposite, happens to be Y, and the hypotenuse, what we are looking for, B, E, right? So it should be easy to see that BE is going to be equals to Y divided by sine of alpha. There we go. That is 7.1. BE in terms of alpha and Y. Let's move to 7.2. So 7.2, we are supposed to show that AB is equals to 2Y. We're supposed to show that AB is equals to 2Y. Uh, that is for five marks so let's go ahead to our sketch and see how we can uh come up with that so a b is equal to two y let's identify a b real quick we have a here and this is where we have b let me just highlight that line in the blue right so that is what we have maybe not in blue but in green um that's what we're looking for. We're looking for AB, and then it is equal to 2Y. That's what we're supposed to show, essentially. Uh, we should always start from the triangle with a lot of information, and then we move towards the triangle without. So BCE has a lot of information, right? We know the opposite, it is Y. We have an angle of alpha here. And then here we have 90, so obviously we can find that angle, and then we have the hypotenuse. We know that the hypotenuse is y divided by sine of alpha. We have that hypotenuse. So let's move from this triangle to the one without a lot of information. That can be our triangle ABE. That can be triangle ABE. So, right, let me just highlight triangle ABE. Because if we connect this true angle, uh, these two triangles, we have this common side of which we know its properties. Uh, it is Y divided by sine of alpha. So, can we use this trig ratios? No, we can't, right? It is not given or it is not obvious that we have an angle of 90 degrees. So, we cannot use trig ratios here. We have to move to the sine rule. Can we use the sign rule? Let's go and check and see if we have the necessary information. Well, we're looking for AB. We're looking for AB. So 2 alpha is opposite AB, right? So we can see sine of 2 alpha divided by AB. But we will need another angle and another side, 
right when we set up the sign rule essentially so what can that be can we find ae i don't see an immediate way where we can find ae but we already have be which is one a y divided by sine of alpha so let's find this angle a and then use it with that side right let's find that angle and use it with that side there's a mistake that people usually make with this kind of question so let me show you what i'm talking about so we're looking for that angle a this is the angle we're interested in right uh we have the other two angles in the triangle 90 minus 3 alpha and then we have 2 alpha so we have those uh two angles so because of the sum of angles in a triangle we can see that in triangle a b e we are now paying attention to triangle a b e angle a will be equal to 180 minus 2 alpha minus 90 minus 3 a so the mistake that a lot of people will do they will not put these brackets they will not put brackets there and i will show you what the consequence of that is so alpha will be equal to 180 minus 90 is easy to see right so we have 90 right there and then minus 2 alpha but then here we have minus multiplied by minus so if you don't put the brackets most people they don't see that and they just come here and say minus 3 alpha which is completely wrong because there is a bracket there so minus multiplied by minus will be plus so we actually have plus there okay that is the mistake i'm talking about right you might think that ah oh, come on who makes that mistake but i can assure you people do make that mistake so 90 plus alpha is the size of angle a so now we can see that sine of a divided by sine of angle a divided by b e should be equals to sine of angle e divided by a b right that is the sine rule essentially so sine of angle a we have sine of 90 plus alpha divided by b e b e we have determined it in the equation above right it is y divided by sine of alpha being equals to sine of angle e so that is sine of 2 alpha divided by the opposite side which is a b that is what we are looking for ultimately so sine of 90 plus alpha what does that give us uh, that gives us cos of alpha so we have cos of alpha divided by y divided by sine of alpha and then this is equals to sine of 2 alpha well this is special right here right we know that sine of 2 alpha can be equals to a couple of things so let's go ahead and change that but what do we change it to we have to be careful right obviously we can play around with different options but here the best thing that we can change sine of 2 alpha to is 2 sine of alpha cos of alpha you will realize why that is the case we want cos of alpha and cos of alpha to cancel out ultimately and then we divide this with a b so as it is from this point we can go ahead and cancel out cos of alpha and cos of alpha right so if we do that we're going to be left with one divided by y sine of alpha being equals to 2 sine of alpha divided by a b if we cross multiply a b is equals to 2 sine of alpha multiplied by y divided by sine of alpha sine of alpha and sine of alpha cancels out we have 2 y and that's what we're supposed to show we're supposed to show that a b is equals to 2 why uh, that is 7.2 let's take a look at 7.3 <clears throat> if it is uh, further given that af af is equal to 7 over 4 bc determine the size of angle baf we are looking for the angle baf 
the angle of elevation of b from a give your answer to the nearest degree let's find that angle first uh angle of uh, elevation from b to a from a to b okay so let me just erase all this junk here yeah so the angle that we're interested in is this angle right here this is the angle we're interested in right we're interested in that angle um so how are we going to find that angle uh well a b uh we have a b in terms of y right uh we know that a b it is 2y we know that a b is 2y um what else uh can we use here we know that a b is 2y uh, are we using okay we have to use this triangle we have to use this triangle we can use the bigger one okay so we know that a b is 2y um let's take a look at the piece of information we're given uh a f a f a f is this sign yeah this is a f a f is said to be equals to 7 over 4 b c but b c is equals to y oh okay um so a f is equals to 7 over 4 y because b c is equals to y so we have a f in terms of y and we have a b in terms of y this is 7 over 4 y so we have the hypotenuse right we have the hypotenuse and uh, the adjacent so hypotenuse and adjacent which trig ratios do we use so cos of theta is equals to the adjacent over the hypotenuse so we have cos of baf being equal to the adjacent which is 7 over 4y everything divided by the hypotenuse which is 2y so obviously y and well what am i doing y and y will cancel out y and y will cancel out and then we're gonna have cos of b a f being equals to 7 over 4 multiplied by 1 over 2 so this is equals to 7 over 8 so b a f is equals to cos inverse of 7 over 8 let me just put that in my calculator. later i'm getting 28 point to the nearest to the nearest degree 29 so this is equals to 29 degrees there we land